Hey, I'm Natasha Nagovenlis, and I play Carmilla Karnstein. And I'm Elise Bauman, and I play Laura Hollis. How did we prepare for season three? One thing we always do is we make sure that we get together before mm -hmm. we shoot. We always take some time where we just kind of check in with each other and see how we are before we even start learning lines yeah. together, just to, to reconnect. Yeah, um, like check in with each other and... Um, I smell her hair. <laughs> we light a bonfire. There's a it's seance a that happens. Yeah. Uh, we make shrines of each other that just keep like a candle burning throughout the entirety of filming. And dance naked in the rain. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's pretty much how we do that. It's really easy. Mm. It only takes a, an hour. Acting. That's our answer. <laughs> My favorite part about playing Laura is that I feel like I'm constantly surprised by her and learning from her. Every time I feel like, oh, okay, I think I've got her all figured out, then there's like a new challenge and a new like level that I didn't see before. And I think it's also because we've been filming it over two years and I've grown and expanded so much in that time that um, little like mysteries that were our like are unlocked as, as time goes on. And I kind of go like, oh, oh, I get it now. I think one of the coolest things is that there's, there's, always, um, there's always more to learn from your characters, even after you're done filming. I think my favorite part about playing Carmilla is the challenge of playing someone who has lived for centuries. <laughs> over um, 300 years. Yeah, yeah. over 300 years. Um, I think just approaching scenes differently because you have to think, well, how would someone who's been around for that long deal with this scene? I mean, there's got to be a, a weight to it. And, and I just, I'm so in love with Carmilla. Mm. I think the most important lesson that Carmilla learns this season is forgiveness. I think that she can be rather vindictive sometimes um, and very hot-tempered sometimes. Um, even though, I mean, sometimes she seems very blasé, but I think there are times when she sort of makes rash decisions. And I think right. the fact that she had to be in close quarters with Laura, who killed her sister, forced her to, to find a way to forgive her. Mm -hmm. And it ultimately serves her because they find this sort of deeper respect and, and yeah. love and friendship for each other. And I think just learning how to let things go yeah. Because really, she hadn't let go of the fact that her mother killed her first love yeah. for centuries, yeah. but there was something about Laura that was different. I think one of the biggest lessons that Laura learns this year is, is that she doesn't have all the answers and that she can't do everything by herself. Some of the most important beats for Laura and Carmilla's relationship, I think, um, I mean, I love the arc of their story this mm -hmm. season. I was so happy how that came together. Um, one of my favorite moments that we've seen on screen so far is after they kiss for the first time, it's all very like heated and passionate and they're like, their hormones are like going crazy. But then they have this moment where after the passion sort of subsides, they just look at each other. I wanted to say like, oh, hey, or something like that. And I didn't, I wish I would have. That moment, it was just like, oh, right. Like that's what this is all about. Like that's like what this relationship is. Like that's what that love is. And I think there was that moment of like them like sort of like coming home to each other. That's but like so there's beautiful. like <laughs> there's like such a connection in that moment that they like I think from then on they they know that they can't go back and they have to like fight for it. But they deny it for a oh, while. Oh they yeah. oh yeah. Like I think I think those moments where you're like so crystal clear about something in life are when you go to the most denial. Like any time like in my yeah, life yeah. where I'm like oh, that's real, then I'm like, nope, 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 <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I think, and also one of my favorite moments is when Carmilla has her speech about how, f how flawed Laura is, yeah. but how it's, there's such beauty in that. Yeah. And how she really accepts her for all of her mistakes and all of her yeah. flaws. And when she says that out loud for the first yeah, time. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I really liked that moment. Yeah. I think it's really cool. Yeah, there's some good, good dynamics. There are lots of good them. beats. Yeah. Yay. Guys, thank you so much for watching this interview with us. It's been a blast. Yeah, and you can catch the third drop this Thursday. Can't believe it's ending. <laughs> Deep breaths. We're going to be okay.
We're gonna make it. Okay. We're gonna do it. 